a small, small smile from these happy friends of mine. Okay, so I was working on my new model, right? Because I, I redesigned her again, yet again, I know, surprising. Um, and I had a thought that maybe not everybody knows that you can change the um, expressions uh, on Vroid. I'll be honest, the default expressions are um, very uh, not great in my opinion. Uh, if you use those, no offense to you or anything, it's just my personal opinion, I don't like using them. The mouth is too wide, I don't know why <laughs> the default is that big. But I was gonna go through uh, a few of them and just like show you what I do personally. Um, so it also depends on like how you have all the features put on the face, it will affect how your sliding will work. Okay. So these are the ones I've already done. Uh, this is the neutral face. It's very cute. Uh, she has a little fang. Um, and you can turn on these fangs either in just um, the mouth area or you can turn it on in expressions. You can turn off and on the fang in expressions. Um, so yeah, this is her just natural face. She kind of looks sad right now. Um, I'm not finished with her, but I just wanted to go through this uh, with you real quick. So smiling. I, I don't like the big wide smile, like have it open or anything. I find that uh, very weird. Um, so there's my smile uh, on this model. It's very um, small. So this one, I usually, whenever I use a sad expression, um, I usually keep the mouth closed. Um, but I wanted to try something different with this one. I think this looks pretty cute. Uh, you can just imagine having the teardrops on it. It'd be very, very cute. Um, angry. I'll go through all these settings in a minute. But these are the default, not great, <laughs> as you can see. Um, you can play around with all the settings um, for smiling with these specific eyebrows. So, just normal smiling. It For these eyebrows that I chose, they don't work well. You have to make your own, um, you know, uh, choices of how you want all this to go. Because... With certain eyebrows, they um, angle weird. With these, these are just a better bet. And it says femme and masculine, but I uh, sometimes use the masculine, even if I'm doing a um, female character. Uh, I'll show you in a minute with angry, I did that. But the eyes, I have smiling like a very small amount. The mouth, very important that you go to mouth inside and close it. Because if you don't, there will be a gap and it doesn't look great. But yeah, smiling is a pretty basic, basic one. Um, so the eyebrows, I did angry all the way 100% for the femme. But then with the masculine, I have it at this number, which I'm going to copy real quick. This is a pretty good expression, but I like my expressions to be more um, exaggerated. Because it just it, um, displays the emotion better in my opinion um so it just came down a bit oh i might want to hit enter there we go <laughs> yeah it came down a bit and like closed in that gap between the eyebrows which i prefer whenever you're doing an angry face and the fun thing is you can mix all the uh options if you go down to eyes right here for the uh femi feminine since i'm doing a feminine la 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 la. i can't speak english um so, as you can see, I have smiling, sad, and angry, and even a little bit of this open wide to get this um, more complex expression. Um, if you just want to um, play with one of these dials, that's fine. That's a pretty good expression by itself, but like I said, I like a bit more like complex stuff. You don't have to copy me. <laughs> You don't have to copy me exactly. This is just my personal preference. I'm gonna show you that gap I was talking about. So as you can see, there's like this little gap in her mouth. I can't zoom in any more than this, so this will have to do. 
but if you go to mouth inside, just close it, it'll put the lips together. You won't have that weird opening. I would do that before changing any expression personally. And I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. I'm, I'm getting a cold, I believe. And it's freezing in my house because we have bad weather. I haven't done happy yet, so we're gonna do that together real quick. So what I'm thinking, because I don't like the eyebrows all the way up here, and always uh, remember where your eyebrows are for like the other ones. So smiling is about there, which is probably a good place for them. I also sometimes like to put the surprise because it makes it go up more, but with these specific eyebrows, it doesn't really work that well. You can always edit these later if you end up wanting to change your expressions. That's the fun part. As long as you keep the Vroid file, you can edit it. Um, and I am using the stable version. Uh, that's why the, um, forget what it's called. It's why all this looks so pretty. So the smiling with the, how I set up the eyes, they kind of squint um, and sad. This is basic sad e expression for these eyes anyway. Angry, oh, oopsies, happy. For some reason, happy is just closing your eyes. Not great in my opinion. Um, some people look really cute with the uh, closed eye happy though. Just, I, like seeing the model's eyes and i have it on auto blink so that happy expression doesn't really work for me it's hard because how i set up the eyes you can't really get that bottom to uh squint up more which i like doing also if the eyes aren't looking right like i just remembered this myself just go down and put on the smile because um you can't only do so much with the eyes and vroid so i don't like doing the basic happy smile what i usually end up doing hold on turn on the smiling first and then go down to this and see this is way too wide for my personal taste and i don't like seeing the um, teeth and change the narrowness see you can make it smaller or wider depending on what you want and it's going to be different for every character because your um like where everything is on the face is going to be different than this one I do kind of like having a little bit of that cat mouth now that I look at it, but we need to hide the teeth because I don't want to see them. Sometimes I'll show the teeth, it just depends. With like the smiling, I feel like it's better without the teeth. So you just go down to teeth and hide upper, lower, just hide in general. I think that's cute. Like whenever you're doing like sad or happy, I usually try to open the iris a bit, which just makes it a, like a bit bigger. Um, Cause people say that your irises like get bigger whenever um, you see something you like or whatever it is. But we're gonna try pushing this a bit more. I think that looks pretty cute, right? Now shocked. I love doing shocked personally. Um, but whenever you first, uh, open, um, this little folder right here with the surprise face, it's gonna have the default settings on, so you're gonna want to find all of those little sliders and just turn them off, because you don't want to use the, uh, basic. So, surprise, it'll make your, like, um, little pupils pretty small, which is pretty good. You're gonna want that little bit of surprise, um, like shrinkage of the irises. Uh, I don't like going too overboard uh, because you don't want them that small, personally. Because I, I like looking at the eyes. So I'll just um, put that uh, open wide open a bit. I said open twice. <laughs> what I like to do is get rid of the highlights. Um, you don't have to do this for every character, but um, we're gonna see what it looks like without them. You go to eyes and just go to hide highlights. I think it um, makes it a bit more dramatic. And again, the mouth is gonna sell it. 
Um, what I usually like to do is instead of doing this surprise face, I don't know, it, it's too big in my opinion, um, but what I do like to do is I'll mix the U and the O and make this pretty cute um, shape. You can make it bigger if you want. Uh, usually I will, I'll move it upwards a bit just so I can get more of that um, big, big expression. I think that looks all right. Okay, and also another thing with the closed eyes, as you can see, these are clipping together and also depends on the texture you're using. These aren't her final lashes, I'm just using them as a base. Um, no, that's the wrong thing, eyes. You're gonna want to only do it till they touch, because you don't want them clipping like this when you blink. Uh, usually, I would try to get the top and bottom to be the same color, um, but with this model, I'm going to be doing uh, two separate colors for the top and bottom lashes. The top's going to be purple and the bottom's going to be pink. So, because of that, you can kind of tell where they clip, but it's not a big deal. Um, you just got to uh, tinker with what you have, right? So yeah, you're going to want to do that on the left and right as well. And now to the exp uh, not expressions, the mouth movements. Um, so you're just going to be using a uh, mouth right here. Um, and it might help um, if you look yourself in the mirror or at photos of making the same ex uh, like the same mouth movement because your mouth doesn't go this big whenever you're normally talking. So whenever people use the default like amount, it's like very um, jolty whenever you're talking and it might it may work for um, specific uh, like designs like if you're going for more of a like actiony anime I guess um, like old fashioned. Uh, but yeah so. You're not gonna want to use that big thing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you see? So, what I usually do is I mix E and A and then go down to mouth inside and you're gonna want to narrow, narrow it a little bit and then usually about there and I for the um, talking you can choose to leave uh, the teeth or not that is totally up to you and I I I I usually mix E and I I mix E with a lot of things because it's just like the perfect mouth shape the eye doesn't really matter because it's such a short syllable, your character's not going to be doing it that often, but um, I would definitely make it like narrow, just like that, like that's fine. Um, U, E, and O, and A are like the most important. So this is going to be U, and I do mix the O's and U's. Uh, just to get a more um, better shape, just get a better shape. So, O, U. So, I usually do it about there, that's usually fine. And E, again, is pretty wide, so you're going to want to go down, narrow it, uh, again, this is just personal preference. If you like the wide mouth, go for it. You're gonna want that A and E to look a bit different. Um, or they'll just look the exact same. I think that looks better. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. A bit of smiling and a bit of the E. And going to O. Um, the 
this looks more like a sad O. I think that looks good. O, O, O. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. We have the neutral. Smiling. We have sad. Angry. Happy. Shocked. And the closed. A, I, U, E, O. Let me know if you want to, uh, want me to do more of these. I just thought that I would do, like, a quick video and show you what I do. Um, yeah, let me know. And that's gonna be it. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And uh, thank you if you watch this video. Uh, please consider leaving a like. And if you're not already subscribed, maybe consider doing that. <laughs> um, but have a good day. Bye-bye.